Good morning. Good morning, Good teacher. Morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine. Good. 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 Okay. Great. How was your day yesterday? Yesterday. How was yesterday? Yeah, bien. O sea, de locura, dicho. <laughs> the first day of work. Sí, este, como me tocó bajar la máquina, ir a conectar, y más que del parqueo hasta la oficina, no. Ay, no. De una sudada de loco. <laughs> Y como, y como uno maquillado, ay, no, un gran calor horrible, como tenía tiempo de no maquillar. Ay, qué estrés. Le agarró ahí ay, la sí. desesperación. La desesperación, y más que como cabal a las siete y cuarto hay que marcar. Sí. Porque si no, ya es eh, descuento. No, ya. Pero, gracias a Dios. Bueno, bueno. Ahí estamos, ahí estamos. Que logró salir. Sí, sí. <ríe> ok, good, good. En Marita. How are you, Marita? Hola, good morning. Good morning. <ríe> Aquí voy bajo las lluvias. Sí, está lloviendo por ahí. Vea. Uy, oh, tengo cuidado entonces. No. Ya llegamos a la oficina para estar mejor. Ok, te lo digo. Be careful, be careful. <risa> vale, qué bueno. Bueno, pues tengan cuidado y, y ahí ven. With the rain. Ya. Yeah. Be careful. Patricia García is here. Buenos días. Hello. Good morning, Patricia. How are you today? I think and you? I'm good, thank you. Good, good, good. Mm. Yes. It's raining where Maritza live, and here it's not raining at all. Para nada yo vi aquí. Y ahí donde Maritza está lloviendo fuerte, se ve. No, aquí está bonito el día. Aquí ¿De acaba de llover también. De verdad. Ay, sí, mi ganas de levantarse. Cabal. <risa> Cuando está ahí. Sí. <risa> no, sí. Cuando... sí, cuando está lloviendo, no van a de nada. <risa> ok, ok. So, well, only three students at this moment. Mm. Está lloviendo, ya démosle tiempo. Démosle tiempo, ¿verdad? Unos minutos. <laughs> Pobrecitos. <laughs> yeah, it's true, it's true. Six and five. Yes. Pero ni mi máquina quiere arrancar, mi ya ve. No, no le creo. Necesito la máquina. <laughs> Cuando no nos agarra la máquina, ay no, qué horrible es eso. That's horrible. Es tremendo. Yes, yes. yes. Más que estamos en periodo de cierre. En el really? banco es, es tremendo. Esto acabamos. Sí. Es tremendo. Cierre, ¿cuántas horas? Ah, 27. Yes. Lo que pasa es que nosotros, es, no sé si han, han leído, estamos en integración. Ah, ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, eh, tenemos fecha límite para que podamos integrarnos con el nuevo banco que se compró. Entonces, tenemos que tener todo listo. Sí, sí. Y es, esos cambios, sí, es cierto, vean. Esos cambios son tremendos. Sí. 
Porque sí. nos pueden hasta costar hasta los puestos. Mm. No le creo. Sí, bien, bien pesado, bien, bien difícil. Así, así vi, así vi. Esos cambios, pero bueno, ojalá que todo salga bien. Pero... No, pero Dios. Sí. Y no me agarra el mouse. Uh. <risa> Ay, no, ¿estará bien conectado? Ya lo conecté, ya lo desconecté. Check, check. She's good. <laughs> okay, well, we are going to start, okay? We're going to start. You help me with the different activities we have for today. Let me show you. Today we are going to study how to tell the time in English. Telling the time. That is the topic for today. Obviously, we are going to have a review of what we studied yesterday. And um, let's let's see, let's see. So the class objective, but the class objective is to ask for and say the time of activities at our workplace. Okay, like, oh, I go to work at 7 a.m. I go to work at 6 a.m. Because there is traffic. So you have to, you're, you're going to see today how to talk about activities and time expressions. The agenda is this. We're going to have the review first. Then we are going to study numbers. How to say numbers in English. How to tell the time? We're going to practice prepositions of time in questions, okay? We're going to practice this, these different activities. So we have a lot of activities for today. A lot of activities. Pair work is going to happen today. We're going to have pair work today. Okay, look at this. Order the following words is the first activity. Order the following words. Number one, what is the order? Classes does she have when? What is the correct question? When does she have class? Ah, okay, okay, very good. When does she have class? Classes. Yes, that's right. That's right, that's right. When does she have classes? Good, good. What about the next one? Look, does where work he? Uh, he? He does where work or where does? Where does, yes. Where does he, he work? Exactly. Where does he work? That's right. WH first, auxiliary, subject, and verb. Okay, let's see the next one. Peter does that material why use? Why use does that material? Why? Why us? us Emma. Does? Does? Uh, the auxiliary. Uh, uh, was does? Why does? Uh -huh, use that material. Peter, ¿verdad? No. Um, uh, Peter is the subject, right? Uh -huh. Peter is the subject, why, so... Why does, why does Peter... Ah, okay, yes. Why does Peter... That materially? And, you, materially. and the verb? And the verb? That use, use? Ah, okay. Why does Peter use... That material? That material. 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 Yes. Material. 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 Yeah. Material. Okay, good. Look. W H. Remember the structure. Mm -hmm. W H auxiliary verb. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry. Person? Auxiliary subject verb. Uh -huh. Person. Mm -hmm. Let's say person, okay? Mm -hmm. Auxiliary person, verb and complement. Okay. okay. Yeah. Look at the <clears> other <throat> one. Spaghetti, how prepare the das Carla? The, the, sería, 
do they do they does they does no or who does how how does how does how does now the subject how does carla how does carla uh, carla uh, uh -huh. prepare the spaghetti prepare spaghetti prepare Deeper. The spaghetti. Ah, okay. How does Carla prepare the spaghetti? The spaghetti. Spaghetti. Yes. How does Carla prepare spaghetti? That's right. Look, we are asking. Oh, oh, ya casi le entiendo, teacher, cuando, cuando dijo así, el sujeto, la persona y el verbo. En ese orden hay que llevarlo. ¿verdad? En ese orden van las preguntas. Ajá. Y ahora le agregamos las information o sea, ahora son information questions. Uh -huh. Es decir, what, why, where, ah, ya, ya, ya. right? Primero va eso, luego va el auxiliary, then the person, then the verb. Y de ahí cualquier uh -huh. complemento, any complement. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. But the first part is key, is important. <clears throat> but good, very good. You're doing really, really good. Okay, so yeah, look, it's the same order. WH, auxiliary, subject, verb. Okay. WH, auxiliary, subject, verb. It's the same order in all the questions. Good, good. Okay. So this is what we studied yesterday. We work on these questions. We study the structure of questions, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what we did. Now to continue, let's see. What is the action of this girl? What is the activity that she's doing? Yeah, read. Read, okay. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. So she reads, right? Now we are going to have a reading activity, okay? Reading activity, look. It says, read the following paragraphs, read the following paragraphs, and then answer the comprehension questions. Take turns to read the paragraph. Right now, you are going to read, you're going to read something, mm -hmm. and you're going to complete the activities. The reading is in a schoology, okay? The reading. Okay, okay, no worries, no worries. Mm -hmm. The reading is here in Schoology. Como van a estar en grupo, um, mm. compañero o okay. su compañera también tienen okay. acceso. Okay, so here we have. This is the reading. Sí, yo creo que ya la habían descargado o ya les había dicho esta reading. It's in week number three. Está en la semana tres. Okay, week number three. Well, there's a head stitch, yeah. Perdón. Eh, sorry, es el que está acá donde dice Simple Present Reading Routines. Es en uh -huh. la semana. Semana 3. Semana 3. Teacher, tengo una consulta. Uh -huh. Sí. Este, es que tengo una duda porque había visto, por ejemplo, ahí dice read the following paragraph, <coughs> pero había visto read the next paragraph, entonces, ¿cómo es correcto? O si hay, se, se puede utilizar las dos formas, o, o qué. Sí, sí, se pueden utilizar las dos formas, following or next. Yes. Y igual. Es igual, o sea, ¿Sí? no se utiliza de una forma en, en algunos casos o de otra forma en, en, en otros. Eh, pues, hasta... Yo los he visto con el mismo uso. Usted puede decir next week, por ejemplo. Y también puede decir following week. Y siempre significa eh, siguiente. Ah, oh, ok. Or next, yes. Or, yeah, yeah. Ahí solo cuando más adelantito van a ver algo que se llama reporter speech. Y ahí sí, ya. Yeah. Si usted dice next en la oración original, en el reporter speech dice following y como que el significado tiene una pequeña variación, pero, pero este, solo en esos casos he visto como que se utiliza de forma diferente. De ahí, uh -huh. 
following and next look normal like siguiente siguiente yeah okay thank you <laughs> thank you okay 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 so this is this is the the reading okay this is the activity you are going to have right now you are going to read about these people about mr miller and you are going to read about miss lucy they have some information to share they are talking about their routines they are talking about their daily life you're going to read and then you are going to answer these questions okay interview with mr miller interview with miss lucy so right now read read the different paragraphs the two paragraphs and then answer the questions okay here we have wh questions about activities in the present so let's work if you can share your screen share share the screen with your partners as you always do right you already know you already know the dynamic you already know these activities how they work so let me create the groups right now let's work with our partners let's work let's work okay working groups and welcome everybody welcome welcome now we have more students <laughs> Carmencita, buen día. Buen día, good morning. Estoy tratando de descargar el archivo del celular. Simple present real routines. Nora, you are at work. Yes. Oh. Pero solo en la mañana. <laughs> solo, solo en la sí. mañana. Bueno, se acostumbra a estar en la casa. Ay, sí, sí. Pero, pero sabe que antes estábamos aquí en la oficina bien temprano con Carmen, a las seis ya estábamos aquí. Y ahora que me levanté a las tres y media para bañarme, arreglarme, no. <risa> ya no. A las tres y media. Tres. A las tres y media para salir de mi casa como a las cuatro y media, cinco, para no agarrar tanto tráfico. No. Porque vivo en Hilopango. Ajá. Entonces de allá hasta casa Santa Elena se hace... Ah, sí, sí, sí. Después de las cinco creo que ya no podemos pasar, entonces. También Carmencita, si le toca. Carmen, sí, porque ya vive en Nejapa, entonces, si se viene más tarde, todo el tráfico de la Consti y todo, ay, no. Qué horrible, <risa> yes. Sí, vamos sí, a madre, <risa> Pero solo es hoy, y la otra semana, un día nada más. Creo que van, así de a poco nos van a ir. Ya. Day by day. <laughs> Ay, no, ya no quiero regresar. <laughs> <laughs> Work from home forever. <laughs> Ay, sí. Aunque <laughs> aburrido también, teacher. Sometimes, right? Yes, it's true. A veces en reuniones, los vecinos con el reggaetón a la par. No, hombre. <laughs> <laughs> y usted en llamada. En llamada. O a veces en videollamada. A mí no me gustan, pero ni modo. Or in class, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> sí, con los tamales aquel día. No. No. Los perritos Ay. de los vecinos que no. No. Ay, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, I share the document in the group of WhatsApp. Okay, por si no tienen acceso a Schoology. Okay. 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 Sí, porque yo tengo bloqueado el escudo y aquí. Ok, ok, so check it in the phone. Let me go to another group. The, docu the document is in WhatsApp too, ok? In the group of Thank WhatsApp. Thank you, teacher. Yes, you're welcome, you're welcome. You can okay, check. Porque no lo podía, no lo podía, no, no puedo. Bueno, yo no lo puedo abrir. 
Ok, ok. Ya, ya le van a compartir la pantalla, Jacqueline. Ya le van a compartir. Okay. Wow. Yes. Solo necesito que se descargue y la compu no quiere. Ok. <risa> check, check the group. No soy rebelde. <risa> no <hay> lunes. No es martes. Yes, today is Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. No, lunes, es Monday, Monday. Monday. Oh, you got, you got it. Morning. Hi, teacher. Morning. Hey, I, say, I sent the reading to the group of WhatsApp if you don't have access to the document. No le entendí, ya sí, perdón. <ríe> el, el reading, este reading también se las puse en el grupo de WhatsApp por cualquier cosa, ah, por si no ah, la abren en Schoology. Ya. Yeah. Ah, ok. Yes, ok, yes. gracias. Good, good. Hasta mediodía es. La otra teach. Hello, hello. Hello. Good morning, hello. Blanca. Hello, Marvin. Hello. Hello. El grupo que me insertó no había nadie. ¿No había nadie? No. Ok. Bueno, work here. Trabajen acá en, en, este, en esta sala, ok? Work here, Marvin, Blanca, and Karen Ochoa. Work here, but do you have the document? ¿Ya tienen acceso a la reading? Sí. Sí, but chivo, chivo. So work here, work in this group. Or if, if you can share your screen, I don't know if you can share the screen in this, in this group. No sé si pueden compartir pantalla en este grupo. Y puede compartir, Marvin, la pantalla. Déjame ver. A ver, a ver si se puede. Si no, ahí le va a decir que no se puede. Que necesita permiso. Oh, ya. Yeah. Yeah, it's possible, yes. La pantalla, ¿verdad? Yeah, but it's, yeah. but it's another reading. Es otra reading. No es esta. Mm -mm, esta ya la hicimos. Mm, no, pues no sé. <laughs> Vaya, está en la semana 3. Mm, tengo que meterme en school, entonces... Si quieres, deje de compartir mientras esta busca la. Ah, va, va. Es igual, Marvin, se los puse en el grupo de WhatsApp, la reading, por si no puede entrar a escuchar. Blanca Martínez, hello. Hello, I am here. Hey. <laughs> okay, Blanca, we are working in a reading right now. Están en grupos y están eh, trabajando en una reading, en un paragraph, okay? Mm -hmm. That paragraph is in Schoology in week number three. Let okay. me share my screen. It is in week number three. Let me show you. Where is it? Where is it? It's here, okay? This is the paragraph. Es de la reading que tenemos. Look, about Mr. Miller and about Miss Lucy. It is in week number three. Here, this is the Word document. So 
Arlet is going to be in your group, okay? Cool. Ella que nos presente, que nos comparta. Sí. Arlet. Te mando el café, ¿está? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Cabal, Marvin. Bien dicho, tomándome el café. Ah, es barba, aprovecho. Y una esposa galleta, mira. Yeah. Beautiful cookie. <risa> yep, <risa> that's right. ¿Dónde está, teacher? Yo no la encuentro. Semana 3 dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, quiero ver si copié el acceso. Ah, ok. Mire si puede entrar a ah. este acceso. Routine and expression, ¿eh? ¿Verdad? Routine, it, the name is routine. No, empieza como simple present reading routines. Le voy a mandar. Ah, sí, sí, ya, yeah, simple yeah. present routine. Re, simple present ah, reading yeah. routines, yes. Mr. Miller y Miss Lucy. Okay. Aquí les puse el link en el chat. No sé si pueden entrar directamente de ese link. Ok, take your time, take your time, no worries. Teacher, pero el link eh, no es el que usted está proyectando. ¿Será este, teacher? Ese, 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 ese. Este. Bueno, ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, that one. Okay. Karen Ochoa no puedo descargar el document. Eh, ya descargué, pero el que el que está en el en el Schoology. Uh -huh. Y es otro. El que usted ha puesto en el link me tira uno que ya vimos. Oh, really? Eh, really? Ok, ok. So, pero ya entré al, al que es. Al que es. Ah, bye, bye. Ok, ok. Me tiraba el de Julia, el que vimos la vez pasada de Julia. Ah, uh, uh, really. Sí, por, es, por, eso es que, por eso es que también le salió a aquí a Marvin. Ese entonces. Entonces no es este. Sí, ese, ese es. Ese es. Ese es. I see uh, the use and one in the chat, but in WhatsApp. Is the same? It's the same, yeah. It's the same. Mm. Mejor. It's the same document, yes. Who is sharing? Marvin is sharing this, the screen, right? Usted está compartiendo pantalla, right, Marvin? Or no? No. Okay. That is the paragraph. Ese es el paragraph, okay? That one, that one. Let me check another group. Let me see. Oh, yeah. prepare, la, prepare la lección. I know. Student work. A test. Uh -huh. I, I After I get back home, I have three kids. I have three kids. No sé qué. Su nombre es no sé qué. Then I do some exercise. Eat dinner with my family and watch TV. Sería eso. Son exercise. Uh -huh. Sí, sería, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. Ay, aquí está. Sí. Teacher, I have a yes. question. Yes, tell me. If I need to use the verb do, eh, pasa a ser como das. Mm, no. Y tú. Y no. tú siempre porque está diciendo la actividad, pienso yo. ¿Se mantiene el, 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 el do? Oh, but why, why are you asking me that? Why? ¿Dónde? Because what does he do after he helps his kids with their homework? Okay. It's because, it's because, um, it says, what does he do? ¿Qué hace él? Uh -huh. 
Do in that case is as a verb. Mm -hmm. The first the first one is does as an auxiliary, and the second one is do as a verb. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y como para la tercera persona lleva es, aquí el do no la lleva. Helps. Ajá, no, no la lleva porque es la pregunta. Y en la respuesta, dice. He does. Si usted va a decir, él hace, ahí sí llevaría he does. does. Sí, si usted quiere decir, él hace, sería he does. Si no, o sea, esa pregunta es general. What does he do? ¿Qué hace él? Oh, he works. He studies. Mm. He plays. Mm. Y aquí voy a decir, él hace algo de ejercicio. Ajá, ya sí, sí, él hace ejercicio. Entonces, he does. does. Ajá, ahí sí lleva, he does. Yes. Thank yeah. you, teacher. Okay. And watch TV. Okay. Um, what kind of TV show does he love? Es cierto, les mandé otra reading al WhatsApp. What kind of TV show does he love to watch? Okay, mm. people. Ah, aquí decía. I is watcher. Eh, no, no. Allí dice my family. Uh -huh. It, my family. Travel the, shows. Tra watch travel show. Travel show. We love, we love to watch it. Watch travel show. Travel shows, yes. Vamos, 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 vamos. What kind of... <coughs> No se pone, no se pone. Aquí está. A ver. Y they, porque son, él dijo we. Ah, no, pero aquí dice no, él. Dos. Sí, dos. Y love, love, love. Love. Love to watch travel shows. A ver. Ahora la segunda lectura. <coughs> la segunda. Uh -huh. ¿Quién quiere leer ahora? Volunteer, Yo voy a preguntar. Lunch and talk together in the teacher's room. I teach again in the afternoon. And then I correct my student homework test. After I get back home, I help my kid with her homework. I have three kids in elementary school. Pero with the con, no de, de nosotros. With, ajá. Borre ahí. Ajá. Y, no, W. W. Ajá. TH. TH. With. Other teachers. Uh -huh. teachers. Other teachers in plural. Yes. Okay. Hay que decir al final de teachers. Ahí. Ajá. Ahí. Shows. Travel shows. In that okay. one, he likes to watch. He likes to watch. Sí, no es. Yeah, no S. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, the S is going to be in the principal verb, which in this case is loved, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Loved. Yes, yes. 
Okay, great. It is an exercise. Y aquí, uh, teacher, um, aquí, it's the dinner, dinner, dinner uh, with his family and watches. Aquí sí lleva ese. Yes, ahí se puede porque es como... Son varias. Son varias, son varias actividades. Estamos hablando de la misma persona. Mente de él, ¿verdad? Yes, y está, uh -huh. está, estamos usando... O sea, ahí le puedo poner he does... He eats, he watches. You can do that. Or, pero en, el, en, en la 5 no se puede porque ahí hay dos verbos. O sea, pero el verbo principal ahí es loves. That is the principal verb. First, mm -hmm. esa es la primera razón. Y ahí, porque dice to watch. Y eso, esa forma es un infinitive. Eh, Ver, leer, escuchar. Esa, cuando hacemos esa traducción, es un infinitive, entonces no lleva es ni ing, nothing, porque lleva el to a la par, to watch, to study, to work. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Entonces, en otras palabras, siempre que lleva el to, no lleva. No lleva nada el, el verbo, ni s, ni ed, ni ing. Yes. Okay. Gracias. Ok. Vamos con el otro. We're going to the other one, ok. Quiero ver. Estoy hablando sobre... Veo aquí, me va a correr a la estaba. Voy a ver. What is it? Uy. Ay, apagado el micrófono. What happened? What happened? Se corre el párrafo. <laughs> Dios mío. A ver. Abajo, abajo, ahí. Tengo que dar espacio para llegar al otro lado. Oh, I don't know. It's, it's, what What if you in What if you insert a chart? Is it, is it, I thank you, teacher. Yeah. I, I don't remember. Ahí te lo metas a para el otro lado. Puede ponerle Patricia un cuadrito, insertar un cuadro de texto. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Uy, chica, ya de que se tiene mucha maldad. No, 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 Imagination. Mucha maldad, me dice. Tras que estamos en el Fue muy grande, lo hice, me lo veo. Ay, Dios. Oh, no. I go to work. I work in a bank. Ay, no me deja. <laughs> Otra vez. <laughs> we have a busy day. Day. Mm -hmm. And he has a busy day. He has. Oh, he has a busy day. Uh -huh. He has a busy day. Right. Cada quien vaya anotando los segundos. No le pongo el... Y si solo se le ponen yes, he is, porque son dos preguntas. No, porque el yes, he is a qué. O sea, me está preguntando. Is person. Person. Is he, is yes, he. he. Ah, no, yeah, porque, person. Sí, pero al principio, in the first one, he asked you a complete uh, question. What job? Entonces, si sí, vamos a responder a la primera, la segunda tendría que, no solo puedo poner yes, he is. Ah, ok. Yes, he is. So, Mr. Miller is an English teacher at, at the school, at the Uh -huh. Teacher. Pero ese has, no se escribe así, se escribe sin la E. <laughs> yeah, yeah, has, that's right. Busy day. Dale separación al at school. At school. Oh. Ahí, dale un espacio, cabal. Yeah. He has a busy day. Ahí está. Así vamos a responder, Tiche, con, con respuestas largas. Yes, yes, okay. yes. ¿Cuál es la segunda? What time does Mr. Millet get up every morning? 
he wake up or he gets up, y vuelve. Mr. Miller, he get or gets up. He gets up. Uh -huh. He gets up. Ahí uh, dice. Six, six o'clock, I think so. Six o'clock. Get up at six o'clock. At six o'clock in the morning. Y ahí, every day. Ah, acabar todo eso es. <laughs> get up at six o'clock oh. every morning. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Teacher, y solo se puede poner Mr. Miller, get up at six o'clock. Yeah, that's okay. Mr. Miller gets up. Gets, gets up, yes. And remove, remove is, ah, remove that. Mm -hmm. Yes, remove that, yeah. Ah, también quite el ah. Y también el yes. <laughs> Uh -huh. yeah. uh -huh. Es que si pone yes, tendría que redactarlo de otra manera, Marvin. ¿no? Es que... okay. la, la pregunta sería entonces: ¿Does he get up at six? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. no. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Vamos. Who does Miller have lunch with his colleagues? Dale arriba con los maestros, creo que decía. ¿Y lunch? No. Hobby, bro. Mm -hmm. In her garden. In her, okay. In her garden. Ay, no sé dónde estoy. Aquí, aquí. Teacher, esta tiene que llevar she loses or she hopes, she likes. Uh, what is Miss Lucy's hobby? No, only Lucy. Or she or Lucy, you choose. She or Lucy, just but just one. She hobbies are growing flowers in her garden. Ah, but now we're talking about hobbies, right? Mm -hmm. So you are going to you are going to use a possessive. Possessive. Vamos a usar un possessive. She is Lucy's sin sin she solo Lucy's yeah. hobby. Ser, podría ser Lucy's hobby. Lucy's o her. Her, uh, her hobby. Uh -huh. Her hobby. Um, Con el possessive Lucy's hobby or her hobby. Her hobby. Ah, uh, her hobby. Okay. Uh, her hobby okay. is growing flowers. Yep. In the in her garden. Yeah. Good. Good. What does okay. Mrs. Lucy do in the evening? I know. The class is done. Que se lía con el perro, pero ¿qué dijo? Ah, lo sacaba caminando. En las evenings, ajá. Uh -huh. We, we take walk for a walk. Uh -huh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. She take. In the evenings. She takes, ajá. Uh -huh. She takes work for a walk. She takes. No sé qué le el nombre del perrito. Doble. W, w O <laughs> W O L Ay, no estoy escribiendo. Or copy it. No se puede editar. Está you, you can bien. copy. Um, ah, ah, okay. 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 W O L L, L. Sí. Ajá. No, pero el Ant también lo tenés que cuidar. Espérate, ahí. He always have a lunch with his colleagues hasta ahí. Ok. A ver, ahí viene la teacher, la vamos a probar. Yes, hello. <laughs> <laughs> eh, What is the question? Number four. Pat, Pati, nos ayuda con lo que nos acaba de decir. Ah, teacher. Yes. Que si está correcta la respuesta 4 de Lucy. Lucy's hobbies. She likes. O sea, el, el punto era que no teníamos que usar el das. Yep. Yeah. Uh -huh. Porque no es una, es una pregunta de to be. Okay. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Ok, she likes growing flowers in her garden. Yep, 
that's okay. That's fine. Okay. What is Miss Lucy's hobby? That is one option. Another option is Lucy's hobby is mm -hmm. modern. Okay. Uh, hobby is growing flowers. Or another option is her hobby is growing flowers in her garden. Ah, uh, okay. Yes, yes. Or she sí, likes. Se, o sea, no siempre le tenemos que colocar el das. Mm, yep, not all the time. Yes. Okay. Let me o sea, see the way. No tenga auxiliar, no es necesario, ¿verdad? O sea, no es necesario. No. Yo veo como repetitivo, Jens. Mm -hmm. O sea, volver a decir lo que dice la pregunta. Realmente en una conversación no, no sucede así, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. No necesariamente. No necesariamente. That's right. Ok. This, okay. Is just, this is just to practice. O sea, lo, lo estamos haciendo ahorita just to practice the, how, the, how different the structure is, right? In the question is like this, in the answer is like this. Because it can happen, right? That sometimes the same the same information in the question is the same in the answer. It happens. But yeah, you can change it. Let me see the previous number three. Let me see the previous question. Number three. Yep, please. Let's see. Okay, okay. In number one, why does Miss Lucy get up very early? She removed dust, remove it, uh -huh. mm -hmm. gets, yes. uh -huh. she gets up early in the morning because she likes to go jogging. Okay, in the next one, number two, where does Miss Lucy work? She work. works, yep. Remove mm -hmm. dust, remove dust. Mm -hmm. And number three. Le quitamos también el dust. Yes. <laughs> okay. Take. Takes. Uh-huh. Takes. Uh-huh. Wait, 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 wait. She takes about 20 minutes to get to work. Okay. Igual que en el previous. En el, en, yeah. Sí. Yes, yes. En lugar de does have, lo vamos a decir. Has. Has. Correct. Ahí sí lo deja, porque das sí. está, está funcionando como verbo hace. Do como I verbo guess. significa hacer, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Y ahí exactly. ya sí en la, en la cuatro del, del, del primer, la, de la primera columna. Ajá. Uh -huh. Un poquito, Liz, por favor. Number four, number four. Sí. Yes. Gracias. En la cuatro, eh, he does some exercise, eats dinner. Eh, with his family and watches TV. O sea, todo lleva el plural. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah. todos, todos, todos lo llevan. Ok. Eh, yes, yes, yes. All of them. In the in number one, about Mr. Miller. He is a teacher at school. Yes, he ha, um, a busy person. He is a busy person. He's a busy person. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. It's a description, right? A description about Mr. Miller. Okay. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. She takes. Oh. Vaya. What does Miss Lucy, Miss Lucy do in the evening? <clears throat> she takes a walk. O sea que sale con el perro. Ajá, sale. Sale con el perro. Vaya. Yo digo que es tan buena. Yes, no tengo la duda. Where? Oh, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Because. Uh, uh, we don't know how to answer. To, uh, uh, como decimos que le toma a ella uh, 20 minutes to get to work. Well, you can, you can say it takes. It takes. It time. Yeah, it, 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 it takes. It and takes. remove she. It, it, she. Uh -huh. she it. Just, just it takes. 
She it takes. Remove she. Remove she. Uh, Eliminate she. Yes. Uh, like that. Like it takes, it takes about about 20 minutes, minutes to get to work. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. That's right. Okay. That's right. She works. Her hobby. Her hobby is in number four because it's the only one, right? Hobby. Hobby? Yeah. With why? 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 Hobby. Why? Yeah. Her hobby is. Growing flowers in her garden. Yes. I, in, in hobby no cambia, no cambia la terminación, porque es tercera persona. No, porque hobby no, no funciona como verbo, sino como nombre. Oh, okay. Su pasatiempo. Mm -hmm. Lo que pasa es de que los, lo, esto es la misma regla de, de ¿cómo le dijeran? Los plurales y singulares, la, 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 la. right? Plurales mm -hmm. y singulares, pero los nombres, no los verbos. Okay. Hobby, un, solo un pasatiempo. Y si digo hobbies, mm -hmm. pasatiempo. No es un verbo. ¿Qué decimos? ¿Se ¿Sí decimos hobbies? Decimos, decimos pasatiempos. ¿Cuáles son tus pasatiempos? Eh... ¿Y hobby? ¿Y hobby? Uno. <ríe> sí, sería uno. Y si digo hobbies, sería varios. Oh, varias oh. actividades. Ah, es pero no aplica porque no es un verbo. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, in this case no. Eh, acá es porque es singular y plural. Si le hubiera dejado hobbies, así como lo tenía, hobbies con IES, entonces sería <coughs> her hobbies are. Uh -huh. El verbo to be va a cambiar en este caso. Hobbies are. Uh -huh. Because it's plural. Porque son varios. Uh -huh. Mm. Yes, but here the verb is, is, that is the principal verb, is, yeah. Okay, you finish, right? She takes Wolfie you, for the walk. You're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Let me check one thing in another group. I get up at six o'clock every morning. Who does Mr. Miller have lunch with? He has lunch in the teacher's room. What does he do after the helps he gives with their homework? He does some exercise, <coughs> eats dinner with him, his family and watch, watches TV. What kind of TV shows does he loves, love to watch? He loves to watch travel shows. Okay. Why does Mrs. Lucy get... No, este es de Leel. Este, este My husband, Michelle. No, esto es arriba. My favorite... Arriba, arriba, arriba. Y creo que era la, la bakery que tú decías. I like to go for my favorite. No. Like no, así está. Eh. My hobby is growing yeah, flowers. Growing flowers, correcto. <laughs> Esa es. Esa es. Cosa con nosotros. No peleen, no peleen. No peleen. Está muy temprano y se dice no peleen. Más que está bien seguida con el coffee. Ay, cabal, cabal. No peleen, no peleen. Vale, yeah, sería finish. Finish. Yeah. ¿Cuántos son mis.? ¿Qué hace? Yeah. What Mr. Lucy doing in the evening? ¿Qué hace Mrs. Lucy in the afternoon? Yeah, yeah. Lucy, saca el perro a pasear. <laughs> yes! Go oh, go go. Go. Uh, uh. La blanquita is having breakfast right now. I think so. Abajo, no, 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 abajo, abajo, eh, Marvin, abajo era, esa parte no, abajo, abajo, abajo. Sí. En the evenings, ajá. Before, before, no, arriba. Before. Before. In the evenings, look, we take. Ahí, ahí. Ah. For a walk, ahí. just that, just that. Eso, correcto. Just that, just that. British. Yes, yes, right. 
Okay, okay. great, great. As you can see, this is an interview. Look, it's an interview. So you are like making questions to somebody. Nora, you mm -hmm. make the questions. Make the questions to Jose okay. and to Wendy, okay? Okay. Uh, Wendy, how long does it take Mrs. Lucy to get to work? Oh, wait, wait. If in number three, in number three, the answer mm -hmm. is it takes. It, it takes. Yes. Um, remove she. she. Yes, remove she. But it. 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 Yes. It take. Yeah. Okay. You, you can start from question one, right? You can start from question oh, okay. one. Yes. Okay. Wendy, why does uh, Mrs. Lucy get up very early every morning? Because she likes to go jogging along the beach. Thank you. Jose, okay. what job does Mr. Miller have? Is he a busy person? He's a teacher. Is he a busy person? Hello, Jose, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is a busy person, a busy person. Busy, busy. Uh, Wendy, where does Mrs. Me Lucy escuchan. work? Hola, hola, hola. Sí, le escuchan. Hola, hola, no me escuchan. Le llega tarde sí. el audio. Hello. Hello. Ajá, yo creo que sí. Hello. Hola, Jose, que no nos escucha entonces. Está teniendo issues. We can... Sí, le escuchamos, José. Hola, hola. 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 Ya. Ya, ya se desconectó. Sí. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. ok, continue, girls. One more minute and you return to the principal group, ok? Ok. okay. What happened? <laughs> Marvin is playing, I don't know. Oh, yes, yeah, over there, over there, over there. Got it. <laughs> Why any <are> yes? <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. Let me so ask teacher, everybody to come back. Yep. Check. <laughs> if it's okay, let <laughs> <or> no. <laughs> I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure it's okay. Because you were working together. Are you sure? Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, are you sure? I can see just one here. Let me see. Let me see. Only one, two, three. Question number three. Question number three. How long does it take? How long does it take? She, it, it, she takes. No, it takes. It takes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Okay. It, 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 solo no it. Veo, no veo, no veo, no veo. Sin la Takes. Ah, yeah, there you go. Great. She works. Uh, in the next question, what is Miss, what is Miss Lucy's hobby? Her hobby eh, is, no her hobby. Esa nota no terminamos, es cierto. Yes, her, her. Positive, right? Yes, good, good, good. Uh, she goes in number five. She goes, goes um, yep. She goes in the evening. Okay, she goes, she goes with her dog for a walk in the evenings. Move evenings to the end. Yeah, she goes with her dog for a walk in the evenings. Now, in the answers, in the answers, you have to use the letter S in the verb because you are talking about a woman and a man. So you need the S. In the case of Mr. Miller, Mr. Miller's answers, he gets up, good. Number two, he always eats. Look, in the principal verb. Ah. He always eats. In la tercera, in la, uh -huh, también. No, no, no. He. he Eso estaba he. bien. Eso estaba bien. 
Yeah. In number three, Marvin. He always eats. He always he he. Está bien. El verbo. Ahí en el verbo le tienen que poner ese. He always eats. No 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 no. Marvin, ahí le pones H E. He. Ajá, Ajá. Así queda. Así queda. Always. Eats. Y ahí en el en el e a t le agregas la s. Yes, that's right. Uh, en el cuatro, he does some exercise. Eats. Ajá. Uh -huh. And watches. Watches TV. Over there. Yes. Watches. Con ES. Watches. Yes. Correct, correct. And he loves. Loves. Al verbo love. Ahí le va a poner la S. To. Y watch. No watch. Sin ES. <coughs> Watch. No, no, no. Watch. Sin S, sin S. Así, cabal, así. Perfect, 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 perfect. Qué presionado se siente Marvin in this group, right? Oh, <laughs> no, pero está, he, he is master in the computer now. Yes. Ay, yes. Un poco, un poco. Marvin, how do you feel? <laughs> no, Marvin. No, Marvin, así. No, no, pero ajá, ajá. Yo, yo soy dócil. Yo soy dócil. Obedezco de cierta medida. Yeah. Ya Great. lo aprendí. Obediente hasta cierto momento. Dice I can niña. see that. I can see that. ¿Me hay niñas, copienlo. Ok. Ok. Great. Listo, great, Marvin. Great. Gracias. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So this is an interview, right? It's a it's an interview. First, they talk about their routines, activities they do, but then we have the interview. So let's listen to two volunteers for the first oh. conversation interview with Mr. Oh. Miller. Interview with Mr. Miller. Let's see. I need two volunteers. To pretend you are having this interview. Two volunteers? Para leer la entrevista. Only, okay. only the interview. Para yeah, uh -huh. yes, only the interview. Yeah. Only the interview. Yes, yes. Karen Hernandez, do you want to help me? Mm, it's okay. Okay, Karen Hernandez is the interviewer for, for interview number one. And Nora, you talk about Mr. Miller. Okay. okay. Go ahead, girls. Eh, Jancy, no sé si le entendí. O sea, ¿necesita que leamos el párrafo o las, la entrevista, Jancy? Solo la entrevista, sí, solo ah, la okay. entrevista. Yes, okay, yes. Okay. I'm, going to sh I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Give me a second. Just the interview. I don't have the answers, but you have the answers, of course. Okay. Oh, Jan, sí, se me cerró esto. ¿My screen? Look at my screen. Pero no tengo las respuestas ahí. But Nora, Nora has the answers, right? Nora. Ah, ok, ok, yeah. ok. Yeah. Ay, perdón. <laughs> What does uh, Mr. Miller have? He, he's a busy person? He is a teacher. Yes, he is a busy person. Ok. What time does uh, Mr. Miller get up every morning? He gets up at six o'clock every morning. Who does Mr. Miller have lunch with? He has lunch with other teachers. What does he do after he helps his kids uh, with their homework? He does some exercise. What kind of TV show does he love to watch? He loves to watch travel show with his family. Okay. Okay, great. Thank you, thank you. Carmen and Liz Racinos, help me with the next interview. Okay. Liz, you made the questions. Okay. Why does Miss Lucy get up very early every morning? She gets up very early every morning because it likes to go jogging along the beach and watch the sunrise. Where does Miss Lucy work? 
work? He, he works in a bank. How long does it take Miss Lucy to get to work? It takes about 20 minutes to get to work. Uh, what is Miss Lucy hobby? Look, pardon, what? What is, yeah. Is Miss Lucy's hobby? No la escucho. Hola. Oh, Hello. Sí. Hello. Liz. Sí, creo que soy yo. No los había escuchado. <laughs> ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Her hobby okay. is growing flowers in her garden. Number five, repeat, repeat, please. Number five. Four. Five. 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 <laughs> Lo siento, no sé por qué se me está cortando. Okay, what does Miss Lucy okay. do in the evenings? She takes a walk before I walk. Yes, that's right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, so this was the paragraph about Miss, this were the paragraphs about Miss Lucy and Mr. Miller, right? Describing their routines. They mentioned some time expressions. Look, 7.30, 8 o'clock. Let me see another time expression over here. 10 o'clock over here. Look, so this is what we are going to study now. Time expressions. How to tell the time in English when we talk about routines, when we talk about activities. Look, we are going to study now to, to move on, right? To go to the next part. First, let's take a look at numbers and their pronunciation, okay? Let's watch a video in this moment. Thank, thank you for working in groups and working on this activity, the reading, helping each other. Let me tell you that something important about working in group is that you help each other. You help each other. Se van ayudando unos con otros. And no, si no es, es así, right? And everybody participates. That's why I like to have groups because everybody participates. Mientras que si hacemos algo acá, solo vamos uno, otro, one, one, one by one, right? So that is the good thing about working in groups, that you practice, everybody. Now, let's take a look at numbers and their pronunciation. We are going to watch a video in this moment, and the video is about numbers. So on your end, you can repeat, okay? Repeat with this man. Repeat, but with microphones Ooh. off, right? With microphones off. You repeat on your end. So let's watch the video. From one to 100, look. Ay, ya me los puedo, teacher, del uno al diez. Yeah, it's okay. You repeat, repeat, okay? It doesn't matter. <laughs> Wait, let me share the sound. I think it's off. Right. Well, anyway, that's it for this Robin and welcome to the first video in the numbers series. All right. Now we're going to talk about English numbers today. And if you already know about English numbers, that's okay, because this video is an excellent review. Uh, if you don't know about English numbers, time to learn. All right. So let's take a look. The first one here, zero. And if you notice next to zero, it has another name, O. Now, a lot of native speakers say zero, but more native speakers will just say O, okay? So this is very confusing to Korean students because when I say zero, when I say it as O, uh, many of my students hear O and they don't think of this number, they think of this number, five because in Korean, O means five, okay? So you gotta be very careful. In English, O means zero, okay? Let's move on to the next numbers. They're a little bit easier. Uh, listen to my pronunciation of each number. Okay, so the first one, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and don't forget zero and O. Oh, okay, let's move on to the next set of numbers. Okay. Okay, he mentioned something important, right, about zero. You can say zero or you can say O. Oh, that's okay. O oh, five, O oh, seven, especially when we are telling the time. What time is it? It's seven O oh, five. What time is it? Seven O oh, seven. But then when you get to number 10, it's seven and 10. Seven and 20 minutes, seven and 15 minutes. But before 10, you can say seven O oh, two, seven O oh, five, seven O oh, four. So that's why he says that. Let's listen to the next. Okay, let's continue on with our numbers. I have the next set here, 11 until 20. All right, so 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Now, as you can see, I put the red line here on these ones because these are the teens, okay, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. All right, so you gotta be very careful with the teens because look at this, 20. Teen and T sound very similar, so it can be confusing. So this has to be teen and T. So 19 and 20. Okay, there's one more problem I wanna talk about that is 12 and 20. A lot of my students confuse the numbers 12 and 20. Be very careful. This is 12, 12, and this is 20. Don't confuse those numbers, please. All right, let's go through the pronunciation one more time. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, let's move on to some bigger numbers. Okay, so let's continue with the numbers from 20 to 100. We've already studied 20. Well, what comes after 20? 21. And we can see how I spell it, 20. And we have to put this, this is a hyphen, 1, 21. And after 21, 22, again with the hyphen. And after 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then it continues again, 31, 32, 33, all the way to 40. And then 41, 42, it continues this until 100, okay? So let's just focus on the tens right now. Now the first two, we already know, we know 10 and 20. Now let's take a look at these. So of course, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, this is 100, but it can also be pronounced a hundred. Okay, both are okay. Uh, I want to talk about 40 again. Now, the El café de Starbucks llega a tu casa. Encuéntralo en supermercados y online. Spelling of 40. 
A lot of my students Sorry. see the four. So when they spell 40, they spell it F-O-U-R-T-Y. This is wrong, okay? You have to spell it F-O-R-T-Y. That's 40. All right? So that's the numbers from 20 to 100. Let's do some extra pronunciation practice right now. All right, I know you need extra practice with these numbers, okay? These numbers are difficult and confusing because they sound very similar. And a lot of my students have problems uh, pronouncing these numbers correctly, and it makes me confused sometimes. All right, and I have one story. Uh, a few years ago, I made an appointment, or actually a date, with a girl. And we were supposed to meet uh, at 5.50. That's what she told me. Let's meet at 5.50. So I went to the meeting place at 5.50, but she wasn't there. Okay, so I waited and waited. She never came. And then the next time I saw her, I said to her, you know, why didn't you show up? I was waiting at 5.50 and she said, yeah, I was waiting there too, but you never came and I was very confused. Well, it turns out that she said 5.15, but it sounded to me like 5.50, okay? So we were both confused of the time. Well, she was there at 5.15, I was there at 5.50 and we never met, okay? So it's very important to get the, the numbers right and don't confuse them. So, let's review. Of course, these are the teens. So this is 13 and this is 30. 13, 30. 14, 40. 15, 50. 16, 60. 17, 70, 18, 80, 19, 90, okay? Make sure you get those right and pronounce them correctly so you don't have confusion like me. All right, uh, before we go, we are going to do a, a listening test with numbers. So you Okay, so did you identify the difference in pronunciation? Yes. Did you see a difference, right? Good, good, good. So, 13 in English is? 15. 13. Okay, very good. And then 30 is? 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. Okay. 30. The next one, look at the next, look at the next set of numbers. The next one is? Oh, wait, Four. wait. But he, he's going to share an exercise, but before that, I just want to make sure that it's clear, the numbers. Okay, this one is 13, 30. The next one is, what is 13, it? 14, 14, 40, 40, 40. 40. Okay, the next one is? 15, 15, 50. Okay, the next one? 16, 16, 16, 16, 16. very good. The next one? 17, 17, 17, 17, and then 17. 17. Okay. The next one. 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, words or expressions 100 100 200 300 400 right and after the hundreds we have one thousand thousand yes one thousand two thousands three thousands okay so now let's listen to the the short exercise that he had write your answers in the chat Write your answers in the chat of Zoom. So you're going to listen. Listen to some numbers and write in the chat the numbers, okay? Write in the chat the numbers that you listen. Should get a pen and some paper and listen carefully. I'm going to say the number. You should write down the number. Good luck. 
All right, so for this test, you should have some paper or something just to write down what you hear. So, and you should think of that number or write that number down. All right, let's start. Number one, the first number is seven. Seven. Okay, that's easy. You should have this. Number two, 13. 13. Okay, so it's 13. Number three, 75. 75. Okay, so that's that's a big number, seventy five. Number four, twenty. Twenty. Okay, you should write this twenty. And number five, nineteen. 19. Okay, looks like this. And number 6, 66. 66. Okay, so this is 66. Number 7, 33. 33. Okay, you should write 33. Number eight, 90, 90. Okay, so this is 90. Number nine, 12, 12. Okay, so you should write 12. And the last one, listen carefully, 21, 21. All right, so you should write 21. I hope. Hey, very good, 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 good. Just in 19 and 90, right? But then the rest was amazing. <laughs> yes, the, just in that one, but then you did really, really good. So he, he, he talked about Hope you about did numbers, well right? on the listening the test. The pronunciation. Okay. This video, if you want to watch the video again, the, I, I think the pronunciation of this man is so clear. So the video is here in the Schoology. It's here, numbers. So you click here and then you will watch the video one more time if you want to. Let's work on this exercise. Dictation, you're going to listen to some numbers. Okay, the same exercise. You're going to listen to some numbers and you have to write the numbers. Now, let me tell you something about numbers. Sometimes you are going to hear that people say double and then the number, double eight or double zero. That means that you have, for example, two, three, double zero, two, three, double zero. Or you have, for example, five, four, double eight, okay? That's what it means, double, double eight, double zero. It's because you don't, you avoid repetition, eight, eight, zero, zero, but you say double. So right now we're going to hear more quantities, more numbers, and let's continue using the chat, okay? Let's continue using the chat for this activity. Listen, 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 listen. Just give me a second, give me a second. Okay, use the chat and listen to these quantities. The phone number here is four, six, seven, 
dash eight eight seven six period. Okay, you're going to write it in the chat. Let me repeat, let me repeat. The phone number here is four six seven dash eight eight seven six period. Hey, very good. Yes, yes. When she says dash, she's dash, she's talking about this sign or this symbol. The hyphen that the boy mentioned before. And when she says period, period, I see someone use the period. It's this one. The period is a point. But in punctuation, it is called period. Okay, great, 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 great. Let's listen to the next one. Number two. But now at a normal speed, normal speed. Your total bill is $49.12. Again. Your total bill is $49.12. At a low speed, slow speed, slow speed. Your total bill is forty-nine dollars and twelve cents. Period. Yes, good, good. Forty-nine dollars and twelve cents. Great. Number three. Your answers are correct. I'm going to use the normal speed, okay? Sorry, did you say 17 or 70? Sorry, did you say 17 or 70? Yeah, look at the answers. What are the numbers, Jose Cruz? What are the numbers? or 70. 17 or 70. That's right. 70 or 17 or 70. Good, good, good. Number four. Quantity number four. My son's date of birth is September 21st, 2001. My son's date of birth is September 21st, 2001. My son's date of birth is September 21st, 2001. He, she is using ordinal numbers. 21st, 21st. <laughs> 21st, 21st is like 21. 21st is like 21. But when you, when you talk about dates, you use ordinal numbers, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. <clears throat> my son... That this is too slow. This my son's date of birth is September 21st, 2001. And yes, look at the chat. Look at the chat. Uh -huh. We have 21st, 2001. 21st. If you... 21st. This is the spelling. 21st, okay, which is this one, 21st, first, first, eh, con el tres sería 23rd, 23rd, but this one is 21st. Okay, and the last one. One more, one more. I think they are five. Dictation letters. My license plate is B2. Oh no, this is about, this is about spelling of letters. 
Okay, so this activity was to practice numbers and the pronunciation of numbers because when we talk about the time, we use numbers a lot. It's especially 30, right? I don't know why, but 30 is the most difficult to pronounce. 30, 31, 32, 33. Then the others are easier, but 30 and 30, I don't know why, but 30 is the most common, right? We don't want to say, oh, it is 7.25. No, we say it is 7.30. And maybe it is 7.25, right? So we'd like to use 30. I know, I know. So now, what are the questions? How to make questions about time? There are two questions that we can make when we want to know about the time. The first one is, what time is it? Okay, what time is it? But you use this expression or this question when you want to know the time right now, the time in this moment. What time is it? Hey, Nora, what time is it in this moment? What do you tell me, Nora? What is the answer? It's, it is 7.35. Yes, okay, 7.35, that's right. So I'm asking you about the time in this moment. What time is it, for example? Can you help me, Arlette, to read this information in the screen, please? Okay, uh, the complete information? Yeah, please. What time is it? Well, uh, it's seven o'clock. It's 9.30. Use it in these answers. Yes, thank you so much. When the question is what time is it, the answer is going to have it's and then the time expression, right? It's mm. and then the time expression. But it's because the question, because of the question, what time is it, mm -hmm. right? Because of the question, what time is it? Because now we have another question. Look at the other question. What time do you? What is do you? What time do you? So, can you help me to read this information, Marvin Peña, please? What time do you? As about a specific time of activity. Go to school. What time do you go to school? Check your email this routine. What time do you check your email? Thank you so much, Marvin. We're asking, we're asking about a specific activity. We're asking about a routine. So now the question is not what time is it? What time is it you go to school? No. What time is it you check your email? No. The question is what time do you? And then the activity, okay? What time, and that's why I have in parentheses routine, right? What time do you go to school? What time do you check your email? So I'm asking you about specific activities and it is different because in this question is, what time is it? What time is it? But I'm asking you about the time in this moment. And on the other hand, what time do you? It's about activities. I'm asking you about activities. Look, um, let me see. Patricia Rivas, can you help me to read this information? Use at. Use at in the answer. What time do you go to work? I go to work at seven. Uh, uh, Se puede decir half? Yes, yes. Half seven? Half past seven, yeah. What time do you check your mails? Emails. I check my emails at 9 a.m. every day. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So now look at the answer. In the answer, you are not going to use it. In the answer, you are going to use at. Okay? Because I'm asking you about a specific activity. What time do you go to work? At 7.30. Look, but you don't say it's 7.30. Because if you tell me it's 7.30, you are telling me the time in this moment. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, now you use at. What time do you check your email? At 9 a.m. Right? Let me ask very specific people. In your case, el, Blanca, what time do you go to work, Blanca? Help me, help me with the microphone, please. El micrófono. 
The microphone, the microphone. El micrófono, Blanqui. Yeah, no, no, it's mute, it's mute. Ah, yeah. It's not... I'm sorry. ¿Qué tal en un grapadora? It's okay. <laughs> Ahora sí, Blanca, okay. now yes. I go to work at 7 a.m. At 7 a.m., okay. Very, very early. What about the next, Blanca? What time do you check your email? <laughs> yes, you. <laughs> I check my email at 11 o'clock. At 11, okay. Or oh, you check your email the whole day. <laughs> okay. You have, yeah, we check, we check the email since the morning till the afternoon. Arlette, please. <laughs> Tú le pones la hora, Arlet, ya vi. Quisiera, I wish. <laughs> okay, okay. So, we're talking about a specific time for a specific activities, right? And we're going to use at in this case. Now, help me with this information. Patricia Garcia, use does. Use does when the, the subject is he or she. What I what I does when the finish work? She finished work at a uh, four thirteen p.m. What I does Marvin send report? He sends report at five o'clock p.m. every day. Yes, thank you, Patricia. Thank you, thank you. Now, the question is not what time do you, but the question is what time does, what time does Wendy, what time does Marvin. I'm asking you about another person, right? Not about you, not about me, but another person. And then we are going to apply the rules, right? She finishes, he sends. We're going to apply this information again. The simple present structure. At, at 4.30, at 5.30, right? Okay, we're starting simple present everywhere, every time in this, in this level or in this model. Now, tell in the time. Look at the expressions that we have to tell the time. Look at them. We have past, we have two, and o'clock. Okay, so look at the different time expressions that we have over here. Let's listen to Karen Ochoa. Karen Ochoa, can you help me please? It's... Yes, yes please, please. Okay. It's o'clock. Okay. Five, uh, no, it's five past. Mm -hmm. It's ten past. Yep. <clears throat> it's a quarter past. It's 20 past. Yeah. It's 25 past. Uh, it's half past. Uh, it's, it's 25 to. It's 22. It's a quarter to. It's 10 to. It's 5 to. Thank you so much, Karen. Thank you, thank you. So before 30, before 30, antes de llegar a las y media o 30, you are going to use past. Past. Past, mm -hmm. yeah. Five past, 10 past, quarter past, 20 past, 25 past. Look, we're using this preposition. And even you say it's half past. Uh, Patricia Rivas mentioned that. Teacher, is, it's okay if I use it's half past? It's okay, half past. Right? You can say it's 6 30, it's half past six, and that's fine. But what happens after the 30th? What happens? Now you are not going to say past, but now you're going to say two. Two and the following number, okay? 25, two, 22, quarter two, 10, two, five, two, two, two. You can even say two, two, right? Three, two. O sea que el o'clock solo vamos a ocupar para horas exactas. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Two o'clock. Two o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock. But like, en punto, right? Mm -hmm. Just in that case, just in that one. Then you're going to use either pass or two. Okay, and here we have some expressions. Can it help me to read these expressions? Hello, Kenneth. Can you can you use the microphone? No, you can tell me in the chat if you can use it or if you cannot. Oh, okay, okay, Kenneth. Okay, Wendy, help me, Wendy. Please. It's two o'clock. It's five past two. It's ten past two. It's quarter past two. It's twenty past two. It's twenty-five past two. It's half past two. It's twenty-five to three. It's twenty to three. It's quarter to three. It's ten to three. It's five to three. Yay! Okay, just this, this, uh, Wendy. Three, three, three. Yes, 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 three. yes, yes. Three, okay. three, like a Z sound, right? Okay, thank you so much. So we are using time expressions, right? These are the expressions that you can use when you want to tell the time. Okay, so let's practice a quarter, a quarter to and a quarter past. What time is it? What time is it here? Tell me, tell me. Past one. Past one. Past one. A quarter past, past one. Quarter past one. Yes, <laughs> a quarter past one. Yes. Let's see. Yeah, it's a quarter past one. The next one. What time is it? It's a quarter, a quarter, past, a quarter past, past ten. Ah, okay. A quarter past ten. Yes, that's right. What time is it? A quarter. A quarter, a quarter two, 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 three, three, two, three, two. A quarter to three. Yes, it's a quarter to three. When you use a quarter to 22, 10 to, you are going to say the next number, right? Not two, but three in this case. Yes. A quarter to three. What about this one? What time is it? A quarter, a quarter to, one to one. A quarter to one, that's right. A quarter to one. Not a quarter to 12, right? But a quarter to one. Okay. More time expressions. What time is it? Half past eight. Half past eight. Half past eight. eight. Okay. Half past eight or 8.30, right? The next one. It's a quarter to, to one. one. A quarter to one. A quarter to one. And the, yeah. We have the more complete form, 12.45. The next one, what time is it? It's 27. It's 4.27. 27, 27, 27 past 4, okay? I, I, I use the, I'm sorry, but I use the complete form. It's 4.27, but you are telling me the right answer, okay? You are telling me the correct answer. The next one, what time is it? It's a quarter, it's a quarter one, past one. one. That's right, quarter past one. The next one, what time is it? It's 10 to three. 10 to three, that's correct. Or if you don't want to say 10 to three, 2.50. Okay. 2.50, right? And the next one? It's, it's 10 half past 10. A half past 10. Mm -hmm. Or 10. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. 10 30, 10 30, 30. 30. Yes. 10 30 or half past. Yes. Tengo yes. Una duda. Question, question. Yes. Por qué en las 4 y 27 no le pusimos past? Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Usted puede decir past. 27 okay. past 4. Yeah. Yo lo okay. puse de la, de la forma, ¿cómo le diría? Completa. Uh, más la corta, forma completa. Más. Sí. Ah, ok. O más larga, como, como dice Marvin. Mm -hmm. Sí, también. 427 or 27 past 4. It's okay. Okay, gracias. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, I use that in all of them. En todas las usé porque en el 8.30, it's 8.30. 
pero ustedes me dijeron pa, eh, past, a half past eight, a half past eight, and that's okay, that's fine. Okay, now we are going to practice the time expressions individually in this moment, individually, let me share this link, telling the time, okay, let me copy this in the chat, and I'm going to give you some time to practice time expressions. <coughs> Open this link, please, everybody. Open the link. Open the link and work on this exercise. So pass. What are you going to do? Super, hiper, mega, ultra easy. Look at the watch or look at the clock over here and then choose the correct time expression, okay? You click. Click on the correct time expression. Okay, then you, okay, and click on next. Look at the clock and choose the correct time expression, okay? Do it, do it, do it, do it. Don't do it like me, okay? Don't do it like this, like guessing. No, you choose the correct answer. Don't do it like, like I'm showing you. You have to do it, choose one. Okay, so let's work on this exercise. Arlet, are you talking to me, to the class? No, no? Ah, oh, okay, okay. It's mute, the microphone, that's why. <laughs> no, I'm talking to Blanqui. Ah, okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell you in private the things, but it's not ah, okay. like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, let me check the attendance. Okay, so please cameras on and microphones too. Cameras and microphones on in this moment to check the attendance. Okay, Arlet Alonso. Present. Thank you. Blanca Yanira Martinez. Present. Thank you. Carmen Elena Flores. Present. Okay, eh, Dora Lizette Rocinos. Present. Present. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Jacqueline del Carmen Castillo. Eh, Jaime Enrique Castillo. Present. José Luis Cruz. Present. Karen Guadalupe Girón. Present. Karen Janet Ochoa. Present. Kenneth Alessandro Alarcón. Microphone is not working. Maritza Gloribel Pineda. She was here at the beginning. Marvin Edgardo Peña. Present. Nora Estela Ventura. Present. Patricia Carolina Rivas. Present. Patricia García. Present. And Wendy Janira Latin. Present. Thank you. Now everybody is in class, that's great. Okay, finish the exercise? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay, yes. pretty easy, right? Pretty easy, the activity. So, um, let's do it together now. You tell me the answer. What time is it? What time is it in this one? It's two o'clock. So, it's two o'clock. Two o'clock, okay, great. The next one, what time is it? It's half past seven. Half past seven. Okay, half past seven. Very good. The next one, what time is it? 
It's quarter, quarter past five. five. Quarter past five. Good. What time is it? It's quarter it's to quarter twelve. To twelve. A quarter to quarter twelve. To yes, very good. Oh. What time is it? It's quarter past nine. Quarter past nine. Quarter past nine. nine. Quarter past nine. Okay, excellent. What time is it? It's, it's, it's half past six. six. It's half past six. Half past six. Okay. What time is it in number seven? Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. Great. What time is it? It's quarter to, quarter to four. 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 Quarter to four, a quarter to four, a quarter to oh, here, here. Oh. I don't want to make a mistake. Okay, number nine. It's half it's past, 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 past twelve. Half past twelve, half past twelve. Okay, half number past 10, what time is it? It's quarter past, 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 past three. three. Quarter, past quarter past three. Okay, good, good. Number 11. Six o'clock. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock. Great. Then? It's quarter past two. Eight. Quarter two or quarter past? Quarter two. Quarter two. Quarter two. Quarter two. Eight. That's right. A quarter to eight. Good, good. The activities you are going to have in Schoology for this unit are going to have time expressions, okay? These are going to be a lot, I mean, you are going to have a lot of activities using time expressions. Where do you find this information? You are going to find this in the manual on page 33, okay? Just for you to take a look at this information. Just let's take a look at this and we finish, okay? Page 33 in the manual. You are going to find the information about time expressions. 33, 33. It's here. We have an agenda or an schedule. Look, Mrs. Robles agenda. We just let, help me to read this paragraph and we finish with this activity, okay? One volunteer, can I have one volunteer to read about Miss Mrs. Robles agenda? Yep. Okay. It's um, Mr. Robles, uh, Mr. Robles uh, agenda. Agenda, 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 agenda. Yeah. At, uh, um, at um, 7, 15? 15? 15. 15. Mm -hmm. right. Meeting with the marketing department at half, Past eight, video call with the supervisor from West Company. At nine o'clock, workshop to the research and development department to improve the manufacturing process. At 12 o'clock, workshop lunch. Workshops lunch. Mm -hmm. At um, a quarter to quarter to two. two? Okay. Second part of the workshop okay, at five to six. Okay. Send tomorrow's schedules to Mrs. Lopez, new secretary, and leave. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so these are the different activities for Mrs. Robles, right? And you mentioned the time expressions. Very good, good, good list. Quarter two, quarter past, half two o'clock, right? So it, she's talking about her agenda, right? And it says question number one, what time is the video call with the West Company? What time is the video call with the West Company? What time? What time is uh, that video call? 
half, half past eight. Past ten. Half past eight. That's right. It's at half past eight. The next one. What time does the workshop with the research department start? At nine. Nine o'clock. At nine o'clock, right? At nine o'clock, workshop to the research department. And the last one, what time does the company close? Um, what time does the company close? What time does the company close? At five, five to six. six. Five to six, five to six. Five to six. Okay. yes. Five to six, because they say and leave, right? Okay, so this is what we have in this lesson. Time expressions, right? Tomorrow we are going yes. to continue working with time expressions. We are going to finish for today. Practice the numbers. Check the numbers, please, in time expressions. So we finished today's class. Have a very good day. I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you. Take care, everybody. And bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. ¿Quién me falta de grupos? A ver, a ver. ¿Quién me falta? Yo. Jaime tiene...